Hey, pretty ladies. Welcome to the community. It's Sapphire. Hope you ladies are doing well. I'm trying something new today on my channel. So I'm not showing my face today, just my voice. So I want you ladies to really take in what I'm saying because this new docuseries is going to be going to be me going more in depth about what pretty girls face. Yes. What pretty girls face pretty exotical women, women that women that have something that sets them apart from everyone else in their community. Because there's a lot of wickedness that we face. And I'm not being quiet anymore. I don't care. The gremlins aren't gonna quiet me down anymore. So back to what I was saying. I don't take jealousy lightly. I don't take dealing with envious women lightly because it's not a joke these women these insecure jealous women can kill these women can throw acid they set you up betrayal wickedness in their blood it's not a joke jealousy is a very ugly emotion so very very ugly emotion jealousy sends people to prison it's not a joke and I don't take it lightly. So in the series, we're going to go into depth about that. Let's jump right into the video. When you're pretty, they study you. They plan to be your friend. These insecure women, even though they hate you. They plan, they come to you being fake, smiling in your face in the disguise of a friend. Oh, and the video would not be right if I didn't use Nicki Minaj because she knows a lot about women, gremlins. Studying her, plotting, planning to be her friend, women that don't even like her, just to study her, just to get the fruits of her labor. They want to be friends with you, to eat the fruits from your labor without doing the hard work. They want to see, they want to be in your life and they don't like you. They plot and they plan. They pretend to be your friend. Nikki knows a lot about that. So I wouldn't be right not to use her picture, of course. <laughs> they want to steal some sauce from her pot. That's what they want to do to us pretty exotical women. They want to steal some of our sauce. Especially when you're a pretty girl that shines bright. They see that. They also know that they don't shine bright aware that you shine bright and they're also aware that they don't so they come near you to get a bit of your sun rays to get a bit of your warmth and they also kind of know that you can't see that yourself and that's why they target you and that's why they get so intimidated from the girls that do see their light and are confident as you should be but they aren't and instead of doing the work and fixing themselves healing going to therapy getting help working on their insecurities they come near you to try and feel better even though every time they see you it hurts them inside because it reminds them of what they lack you show them their shadow you show them their shadow side. You show them what they don't like. What they don't like about themselves. For me, for example, I'm a co I'm confident. People would always say, "Oh, who do you think you are? Oh, she thinks she's all that. Oh, she's vain. She's arrogant. She's big headed." What does that show you? It's a projection. People feel that they're not good enough to big themselves up. People feel that they're not good enough. You know, they f they don't feel worthy enough to hold themselves highly. So when they see someone like me holding herself highly. Oh, I'm vain. How sad. My mother raised me to be confident in who I am. And I'm sorry that maybe yours lacked in that department, not to be rude. But would you not want your daughter to go out to this world holding herself high, being confident? Would you not? Of course you would. But when they see their age mate doing it, when they see a friend doing it, a girl doing it, they don't like it. And they try and make you feel bad about it. They try and make you feel bad. How sad. <laughs> Like, and then obviously my beauty, if girls felt like they were beautiful enough, then they would not like me. You know, also like, I'm a bit quirky. I'm not going to lie. I'm a bit quirky, you know, and some girls, when they don't have personality, they know they don't, don't come with any, they have no substance. They would hate that. They would call me weird. Oh, she's weird. 
okay, I'm weird. I'm what about it? I don't care. I like being weird. I like being different. I'm me. You wish you were me. That's why you come and study me. People who see your light will treat you less than. So these women, they will come near you to try and study you and be you. They don't want to learn who they are. They don't want to have their own identity. They want to steal your identity while simultaneously chatting rubbish about you behind your back. Just using you. They don't want to do their own work and make it their own way. So these women recognize that they don't have a light like you. And they recognize that you don't recognize your light. You don't see your light. And now when you're pretty on top of that, and you, you're different, you have qualities that make you admirable, they come near you for that. Especially when you're introverted as well. The way people act and scheme when you're pretty and introverted. They feel like you're up to something, you're mysterious, you know? They always think negatively when you're not talking. These ladies treat you how they would treat people if they look like you. They project, they watch you, they study you to see what makes you you. And then they will desperately try and chip away at your confidence. You know, these friends, they don't really like you, view you as a Barbie. They don't like what makes you human. If you notice, whenever whenever we do something, ladies, that makes us human, they blow it out of proportion and they blow it out of proportion. Let's say you're wrong, then you don't hear the end of it. You make a mistake, you don't hear the end of it. You correct them, now it's who do you think you're talking to, even though you may be right. They take everything you do to heart so personal they don't like you they're not there for you they're just there to steal from your sauce your light and your beauty but they're not there for you or they're there to see what boys they can get around you let's say if you're a pretty girl then that means they can get you know men whatever it is that means they can get men i had a girl be friends with me while trying to sleep with my boyfriend come near me while going to my boyfriend, telling him that he deserves better than me. Ridiculous. These women are actually so insecure and so sad. But you can never be me. God makes everyone individually. They don't want to take time to learn who they are. So they always try and validate themselves and live through other people and study through other people to give themselves a false sense of identity. They want to live through the pretty girl to give themselves a false sense of identity while hating the girl at the same time. And these ladies, they can never admit it. They can never admit it. They can never admit that they study you. They can never admit that they plan to be your friends. They can never admit that your presence, your beauty makes them nervous. Because let's face it, as pretty girls, we make our beauty makes people nervous. And then it's up to that person how they deal with that nervousness. You know, people are admired by our beauties. Up to them how they deal with that when they feel that emotion next to them. You know, some women, you stand next to them, they can't handle it. Instead of working on themselves, they'll try and put you down. They'll try and diminish you. They'll try and humble you and embarrass you, humiliate you. They get angry. They don't want to face themselves in the mirror and realize, why am I feeling this way? Why is she making me feel this way? This girl that has done, has done nothing to me. Yes, I'm going out of my way to put her down. I'm going out of her way to self-sabotage her. I'm going out of her way to gossip to her. And a lot of the times, these ladies, it, it can be one-on-one, -on -one, but a lot of the times they come in groups. They come in packs. Hyenas. They're weak by themselves. They're weak alone. Ever try and go to them one-on-one? -on -one, try and approach them one-on-one? -on -one, you know, it might be, you know, cordial, civil. But when they're in their groups, it's different. Now they have all that confidence. Insecure women. Pathetic. I, I actually feel sorry if, those, if women like those ever have daughters. How will you treat, what will you say to your daughters? But yeah, they can never admit that they study you, that they're insecure. These women don't realize it. They're not self-aware. Part of them envies you while another part of them wants to take you down. And they're so desperate to be in your life. Each and every woman that tried to take me down was so desperate to be in my life. Each and every one. Just for them to be shady. Just for them to have 
backhanded compliments just for them to try and sleep with my man just for them to try and self-sabotage so desperate to be in my life and this type of girl probably loves giving unsolicited advice they probably love to gossip be careful of these women that come to you to study you because they love to live through you they love for you to rely on their opinions they love for you to rely on their advice because it gives them a sense of control over you the pretty girl they love to have control over you while not even really liking you and first of all no one can have no one should have control over it, no one but it gives them a sense of control over themselves they don't focus on themselves you're a threat to their self-worth you're a threat to their insecurities you're a threat to them i'm gonna end up this video right now but just remember that you need to be careful pretty girls you need to vet women that come into your life for me to call anyone my friend now you have to go through the ringer baby i don't trust women that come into my life whenever someone's trying to come into my life i don't trust them i don't i'll be honest i always think what do they want what is it? Do you know what? It's a sad reality. When you're a pretty girl. When you're a pretty exotical, it's a sad reality. Anyways, I hope you girls love this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what you think. I would love to hear your opinions.